Ralph here once again, and you see right along the y-axis here, we have scientific notation. This is a problem a lot of us amateurs run into, and it can be very frustrating, especially combing through Stack Overflow, trying to find the solution. Easiest solution so far that I have been able to find, and there's many different solutions, is this little line of code right there called PLT tick label. I've had a hashtag Dalks. I want to show you, for example, when we run this data set, and of course looking at the positive case trend for COVID-19, so it's a large data set, it always defaults to scientific notation. And even if we put this code in there and we run it again, for example, it's going to default. The trick is this, this one line of code right there, style equals, take that word, or I should about to say string, type in plain, and the scientific notation becomes whole numbers. Again, it conveys information a lot more fluidly to the consumer uh, of the information, so to say. And so, for example, we have right here a large data set. This is a lot of the options in the PLT tick label format. Oh, just one over there. But the only one that's really going to be a concern to us as far as this case, the y-axis being in scientific notation. And I really hope this helps too. Because this, trust me, it's a life server for me. Is that one line of snippet of code right there. So style right there. We type in plain. And it's vital to be able to take your charts and graphs and any data that you accumulate and especially be able to communicate that information fluidly to the viewer. So, for example, I want to use this, for those listening, we'll use this as a trailer for our Saturday night data analytics or Sunday morning data analytics in reference to COVID trends. But you see the whole numbers there. I can easily see right off the bat that's 25 million plus in positive cases total uh, as we've accumulated through the end of January here. Again, hope this helps. This long one line of code there, PLT, tick label format in the Matplotlib engine. And it really, really makes a huge difference. And this is the easiest way to do it. And trust me, once you do it, you're so relieved. I mean, really, 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 it's a great, great find. Again, we're off to your channel signing off. Hope this helps. And I'll see you maybe Saturday night, Sunday morning, and we'll just use this as a trailer, and we'll catch you all later on as usual. Gratitude. See you then. Bye.